Hello, all you creative people, and welcome to another video. Welcome to this new video on my on this new game I'm creating. As you guys may be able to tell by what's happening in the background, I didn't record the process of creating this game, so you're just going to have to go with gameplay. That's in extremely bad and kind of old. A lot of stuff has changed, but I'm too lazy to record gameplay. Unless I do. Which I probably won't. So really, for this week, as I've been teasing constantly, I've decided to go for creating a Rocket League clone. Lots of people have done this in the past, but I think I'm the best. Most people, their Rocket League clones aren't what you would say, um, have flips in it. You see, mine does have flipping. Yes, it's extremely bad because there's not really much post about how flipping works in Rocket League. And I've been planning to figure it out and trying to get it the best way. I'm planning on using animation next, but that might be an issue, but I think animation might be the best way to go. So I might have a go with that. But most things I was able to copy and replicate from Rocket League perfectly because of the GDC talks um, one of the Rocket League creators had, and because of a specific channel called Rocket Science that really helped me out when it came to a lot of stuff, including the collisions between the ball and the player, which is actually a pretty simple collision system. It's just a box collider, but instead of just having it be a basic box collider, what you're doing is, every time the ball hits the player, just changing the impact normals, so that it's actually the impact normal of the uh, center of mass of the player and the center of mass of the ball, or at least that's how high I have it set up. And it's it's not that hard and you can there'll probably be a link in the description below on that video if you want to know more and the entire rocket science channel uh, rocket science channel because that's a lot of good information about rocket league that's really helped me out in this entire process of creating this new my own version of rocket league and that gdc talk is possibly one of the only reasons i was able to finish a, a lot of other stuff that wasn't covered in the rocket science youtube channel even though I haven't set up multiplayer fully yet, I have gotten pretty far and I have the all of the scripts should realistically work with multiplayer. All I really need to do is set them up and that will be working perfectly. Or at least I hope perfectly. And I might do another episode just covering that. I'm not sure when it will be, probably the week after next because I have a frontline video coming out next week. But I've already recorded and all because I like recording my videos a week in advance. This week has been pretty hectic, so this video has been recorded. On the same day it's being released, which is kind of my thing recently. But that doesn't really matter as much. I'm also working on another project, it's just something simple, it's just the basic right of, right of way of any, uh, of any programmer or any person who codes on YouTube. Just creating a Minecraft clone. It can't possibly be that hard. Is what everyone said. I'm not sure if it's gonna be hard. I haven't started, and I'm not sure what program language or game engine I'm going to use. I might use C plus plus and S. I might use C plus plus. I might use um Godot. I might choose Unreal Engine. I might use Unity. I, I don't know. It's still in very early works. So yeah, I guess that's that for this vid. Pretty short and concise. You know, just a video all about. This new Rocket League clone, it isn't available to play it because the multiplayer isn't there. It wouldn't be that fun. So there will be a second episode at least. Just to get multiplayer working and I, then I can release it out in the public. But besides multiplayer, a lot of stuff has been done as well. I told you about the ball and the impact normals. Besides that, I also had to figure out a ton of stuff. The grass isn't working the same as it does in Rocket League. Which is pretty hard to replicate the effect they have in Rocket League. I think it's probably just a shader. And I'm using an actual grass shader instead of what Rocket League is doing. Which is probably just maybe a texture on the... I don't know. It's a confusing system. I also don't know how they did that. I might probably figure it out next week. I don't know. There's a lot I need to do. And I, I'll get to that later. But anyways, that's been this video. All about um, RLC Rocket League clone. I that's probably not going to be the end name. Oh yeah, their name is probably going to be Carbo. 
because it's a car and a ball. It's very, very, very simple. And yes, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.